left-handed quarterback from Hawaii, 6'1", 218, leads his Babbitt team onto the field. This is ridiculous. I know you played mop-up duty yeah. last year, but you look at the numbers. Yeah, One but touchdown every seven passes. And that's amazing. The thing that stands out to me in all of that, though, the 75% completion percentage. He does that throughout the, the season. Uh, I think you're going to be, it'll be a, a, a runaway deal in terms of the Heisman. Runaway deal, as far as the Heisman is concerned. Runaway like a troubled team, pissed off at their parents. This would be easy if he throw this ball like this all season. What's up, man? It's Coach P, a.k.a. John Doe, one half of the unofficial assistant coach. Shout out to Coach Nitty. Been to run down this second game of the year, two or second start, Alabama versus Arkansas State. We just handled Louisville last week in Orlando, Camping World Stadium. Time to come set up shop at the home field, Brian Denny. Two of last week, 12 out of 16 for 222 yard, 227 yards. I ain't mean to snub him for five, average 14 to 14 throw, 99 QBR, doing his thing. Let's get into his first throw of the game, see what we got. I love the check down, starting from the right side of the field. Uh, uh, work your way all the way back around. Hit on the throw. Look like Damien could have got that. I don't really understand. I, I watched that a few times. Of course, it wasn't the best throw. Of course, it ain't a tool throw. But it just seemed like Damien could have got that. That one, I don't know why he pulled up so quick. I mean, it was a, like I said, it wasn't the best. It's low. But I think we can get that. Let's see that one more time. I just don't know why he pulled up. Like I said, it ain't the best throw. Sometimes you got to help your quarterback. We so used to tool throwing darts that he probably wasn't even ready to bend down. He's right there in you, but I think what it was, number one right there coming full speed, I think he kind of heard those footsteps. But, you know, it's all good. Can't make all of them. Plus, like I say, he had a little pressure. By the time he got through his check downs, he was getting getting a little pressure up the middle. You know, you can't complete them all. We cool. I love this play right here. They actually got a nice D call for it, but watch how Tua work these boys. I'm going to show you what you're missing after this. Tua looked that linebacker off worse than he looked off the safety in the Georgia game. It's crazy. This boy is too young to be doing the things that he's doing. It's before his time. To run like this and throw like this is one thing, but when you just going through your progressions, your eye, your, the, the ball coming out on time, everything just popping. And like I said, I don't expect him to be perfect. You ain't got to be perfect to win here. Look at the head. Up, oh, switch off. Oh, my goodness. He was staring at the tight end, opened up the field, then hit Judy. Oh, I'm going to bring that back because I know a lot of you didn't see it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will bring that back. I'm going to bring back the whole play, then bring back that eyesight. I got to run this back one more time. Watch how Tua stare this guy down so long that he got to respect it. Why you moving out the way? Judy finna come right back. Look at that. Both of you on there, left and right. Windows, split you. You're dead. You been dead. As soon as the play was called, I'll holler at y'all. That's to the touchdown. Nice. Window right there. Split them with a perfect pass. It had to be perfect to get these results. I'm going to let you see this boy eyes in, in fast motion and regular speed. Look at the head. Look at the head. Pop. It went. Switch. Ugh. Hit you in motion. We out of here. We out of here. Now, let me bring that back for those who, you know, just was probably up getting some ice for the the significant other or in the restroom or even if you just watched it and didn't see that head pop that quick, let me show you what you miss. Look at this boy head. This guy's too young to be on this level. What a tight end at? What a tight end at? Look at the tight end. Look at the tight end. Look at the tight end. Now watch that, watch that head pop off the tight end to the receiver he really want. Oh my goodness. Now that's who I really want. I stared at the tight end all that time. Bah! Split both of y'all. That's windows. Somebody get the Windex. Tight windows. Don't bring that generic window clean either. Get the Windex. And we out of here, man. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, we snubbing this guy for stats. Oh, you don't want to see him play a whole game. Oh, don't let Tua play a whole game. Especially against a team like this. This was like an 800-yard game right here. All pass yards. Leaving me in the whole game. Let's look at it from another angle. Watch that head. I'm staring at Irv Smith. I'm staring at Irv Smith, so 22 is following him. Look at that head, turn around, and find the guy who I'm really looking for. 
coming right across the middle. Beautiful head work. We know they looking at your eyes, so let's give them something to look at. Smoking mirrors. I know them haters waiting on a play like this. No matter if he threw 30 straight touchdowns, soon as he throw a pick. See that? See that? I told you. I told. <laughs> hey, look at look at this ball. This boy so gifted, so so. This boy face so nice that even when he throw it to you, you can't catch it. That spiral so perfect it was only meant for Alabama player. Now nah, let me bring that back. Show you what happened on this play. After he bumped Devontae Smith. We expected him to sit in the flat and wait on this guy. But he faked us. We couldn't see him behind. He stayed with him. Great play on the defense. Otherwise, he finna catch that and go around, straight around that safety to the touchdown. That's great D on that right there. That's how you get paid a man or Tom Brady, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes you got to take a, a, a chance. Tua knows his fault. We both expected him to stay with that guy in the flat. But he released that guy and left him wide open to make a to make a chance to go get that ball and he almost got it. But two balls are only meant for Alabama players. He he gave it to you, still couldn't catch. That's a good read, good situation. But he just played good D. He let he leaving his whole receiver open in his whole area to stay with this guy. And two thought he was gonna sit though. That's okay. That's cool. Jalen Hurts got intercepted like that versus USC his first game of the year last year. And almost got intercepted versus Washington on the same situation where this cornerback folks are sat in the flat, but he sort of snuck on and stayed with that, re with that receiver. It's cool. It happens. Like I said, they done got Hurts twice like that. The second one, the dude dropped just like dude just dropped this one in the Washington game. But that's cool. And I said it in the Hurts game. I said I'm not mad at that. Plays like that happen. Especially when the, when the defender just played outstanding D. That's cool. Just a good defensive play. I'm not mad at that. Look at that spiral. So nice. That's meant for a Bama player. You can't even mess with that. But guess what? When you get a chance to, to, to get to her, you better get it because next play we come back and do something like that. And that's what I was saying. I said when, when Jalen throw them same interceptions, I said I'm not mad at that on the read, you know, or defender just playing a great defensive uh, situation. My only problem is when we had wide open plays, that we couldn't get the ball to him. I ain't mad at when the defense out trickles or, or, you know, a little situation like that on the play before. I was mad at when seeing play after play after play of wide open people that couldn't get that ball. That was my only problem. So don't try to say, what happened to two on the last play? That happens, homie. Calm down. Tua can throw a hundred straight touchdowns, but soon, soon as one little air, oh, what was that? That was great D is what that was. Now, what y'all need to do is be working on getting that kicker situation right for I have two a campaign and to be kicker as well. Think I'm playing. When you got a dominant run game like this, play action, everybody come up to bite on it. I can make this pass right there on him. Great, great work by Ruggs. All he do is catch touchdowns. All he got to do is make one guy miss, and we got another touchdown. No one says this was the greatest quarterback play ever, but guess what? When we got a chance to make these plays, I want them. Yes, I could have made that pass, and I'm glad he made it. Let's go. You better make that. Let's go. Watch this guy. He looking at the run game. Looking at the run game. I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit on the pass. No, it's a run game. It's a run. Oh, been on the play action. He, he was going to sit on the pass, but he ended up biting at the last minute. And as soon as you get, get left that boy one second. Come here. Come here. You out of here. Number 10. Message to you. You're dead. Next play. Just want y'all to hear some of these stats. After a neutral sider against Louisville and Orlando last week. They've scored on both of their drives. Or to a tongue Bailoa. Three drives for him to start the game. This is an absolutely wow. ridiculous statistic that our folks cooked up. 72.5% of Tua Tungabailoa's drives have ended in touchdowns in his Alabama career. Bow! Woo! Windows! You know what, Irv? I'm sorry, man. I'm tired of mentioning OJ when you out here making your own name. Just got to understand, that was one of my close partners. I felt one of the best players to ever play that position at this school with the potential of being the best if we could have gotten the rock like we supposed to have gotten that rock. 
but you doing your thing too, man. I ain't saying you the next OJ, you the, you the first Irv Smith. You doing your thing. You doing your thing. Look at that pass. Look at that placement. That boy finna have you in the league doing more things than your pops with these plays, man. Keep doing your thing, Irv. You making your own name, and I love it. Thanks, Tua. This boy don't even look like a tight end. He look like a fourth receiver. It's crazy. Everybody eat. Hell, if we could throw it to the left tackle, he'll have six catches by now. I couldn't grow it back <laughs> if I tried. Right here, Walter, you know the rules. If you put your hands on it, you got to bring it in. But guess what? Just because it wasn't perfect and it came from Tua, I'm blaming Tua. Tua ball so perfect that if you don't catch it, I'm blaming Tua. Don't worry. Cause they swear I'm bash. I used to bash Jalen. It was two of fault. But guess what? We gonna come back to you. Don't worry. We'll get it back to you. Matter of fact, let's look at it again. I couldn't grow it back if I tried. Throw your open. Come downfield. Oh, hit you dead in the hands. But guess what? Blame it on Tua. It's Tua's fault. It's all good. We'll make up for that. Through your field. All you had to do was catch it and keep running. I think you were still running toward the sideline. You still had your angle on instead of going turning up. Probably miscommunication. He probably thought you was ready to turn up. You were still jogging toward the sideline. It, it don't matter. We so used to Tua throwing A1 Dilford Dimes. That since it wasn't just straight in between that one and the seven on your chest, we go blame it on Tua. If Tua don't throw it perfect, then it's Tua's fault. We co I'm cool with that. Very next play. I owe you one, Waddle. Very next play. Come here. Just sit down. Uh, uh. Do your thing. Open space. Come here. Let's go. Two minute weapons. Everybody eat. Damn, Waddle. Then you just get in the game. You already getting catches. Everybody eat. Come on, man. Everybody getting the rock. He just got in the game. Who opened? We ain't going to force the ball to win play all game. Let's go. It's the only play I disagree with in the game. Third and one. We run a run play. This two or first stall drive. Outside of the one when Devontae Smith fumbled the first game. This is the only drive Tua had, had, didn't score on since he been started. Outside of the fumble from Devontae Smith the first game. Every other drive he scored on. He just asked to go for it on that fourth down. And I was with him. Let's go for it. We playing Arkansas State. First home game. Our offense been showing all the beauty in the world. Let's go and go for it. You know, I know it's fourth and two. We, on that third and one, we hadn't been stopped with a uh, quarterback shotgun. Quarterback sneak yet. But, you know, we load it up and go for the run, but we don't get it. It's a fourth and two, you know, but, you know. That's why I'm at the crib and coach get the big bucks. Just trying to let you know, man, I would have I got my crowd crunk. I'm going for it. It's a good defense right here. That's a good throwaway, too, if we want to call that a throwaway. Bring it back and show you what just happened on that one. Devontae Smith in the clear. This corner back out and this guy out. They both go go with him. Both linebackers go bite on the play action to Najee, but this one go turn around just in time to get in Tua's passing lane to get to Jacobs. Now watch he turn around just in time. Now I got to roll out a little more to find a passing angle to get to Jacobs, and I got to throw a rocket because if he turn around, it could be a pick, and I got to put a little, a little high, but you understand that Jacobs was one of our shortest receivers, so it pretty much went nowhere to go on that. Everybody was covered. You know, defense just so having to bounce back and uh, get where they needed to be. Show that one more time. Faking like I'm a block, then I'm going to go out on the route. He, he sees that. By the time he come out to play action, he had to roll around a little more to get this angle. I got to throw it hard because if you turn around, it's an interception. It's just really nowhere to go with it. Everybody else pretty covered and Devontae Smith double team down the field. You know, you can't hit them all. Let's go next play. Wait a little fight another day. Don't force it. Let's go. I thought this was a bad play during the game till I rewinded and watched it. It's another good pull by Tua. Another good pull. Show you exactly what happened. 
leadership in that program. Uh, he's going to have to adapt. Everybody on the defense finna go with the play action going this way. Everybody. Safeties included finna go that way. To a fake it, come back this way. Here go my block I want to get behind. Big 74, but watch he wolf on the block. Don't hit nothing. If you make that block, to a keep it like he forced to, and our first player we even looking at is right there. But he missed the whole block. But that won't be often. That's my boy, Big J-Dub. He's straight. He just missed that one. He missed it bad, too. But it's okay. But before I saw that, I thought, too, like, why you didn't hand it off to her? The whole defense went with the play action. The only person that didn't go was the person down there checking my receive on this time and the guy that was waiting up there, uh, safe, safe, uh, back there in the safety position. I would have had about eight yards before I even got to him. And I probably would have shook him like I did in the Tennessee game. But you know, my, my guy missed the whole block. I'm talking about the whole block. See that one more time. Like I said, when I first saw it, I thought it was two or four. Big 74. Seven to do his job, hit him. Now you they go and I hit go the hole. I come through here, but you didn't hit nothing. He went straight past you. That's the only guy I gotta worry about. Devontae Smith got the other guy at the bottom. I gotta worry about one guy. The whole rest of the D went with Najee Harris to the other side. It's okay though. J Dub, keep keep it going. You you straight. That play set up a third and eleven. We hit a third and twelve, third and ten, a few big third downs in the first game. I know he ain't gonna hit this one now. Let's see what you got for me, Tua. Oh, stay in that pocket. Stay. Oh, nice footwork. Stay in that pocket. Bow! Woo! I don't know what you do to stop this boy. Look at this footwork. Look at this footwork. Uh, 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 uh. Move around number eight. Nah. Uh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. That's easy pitch and catch, baby. Deal for dime. Tight windows. Spiral. Patience in the pocket. He too valuable to run every play. So guess what? Stay back there. Find your, find your receiver. It's going to come open. And you know when you're throwing it like that, it's going to open up that. I thought Najee died when that boy hit him in the back like that. I ain't know what that was. I almost ran on the field. But we good. Let's go. He pointing, trying to let him know a blitz coming. Letting him know the blitz coming. You can tell how he lighting up on the inside of him. That was just too much pressure coming too fast. Plus, it was a miscommunication between the receiver. That's what that's what they talking about right now. Smith and uh, Smith and uh, Tour. Something happened, but that's they just back there too fast. I mean, if it ain't hitting a quick slant, that's just too fast right there. And to set up another third down, another third and long. Another third and long. We couldn't hit a third and six or better for the last two years. We hitting third, 10, 11, 12. Bow! Oh, it look like you're jogging it. So it's just, it looked too easy. Everybody eat. Pull up a seat to this table. Pick what you want. Buffet style. We got every nationality of food on this table. We got Mexican. We got seafood. We got soul food. I got Kahlua pig for two. I got hibachi. What do you want is here? Thanksgiving ain't got nothing on tour. Everybody eat. Now I got to have a talk with this kicker. Who the? Who's our special teams coach? Get him my beeper number. And I ain't even got no damn beeper. What's up with this? Come on now. We got the number one, number two kicker coming in next year. Until then, we got we need to put Tua at kicker. Tua needs to kick from week three to the playoffs. Got to be kidding me. Jalen Hurts' first possession of the game. Went five out of nine last week for 70 yards with a 48 QBR. No disrespect, but why we still playing Jalen knowing he's not going to be here over four games, I don't know. We should be playing Mac Jones. 
in the second half, preferably the fourth quarter. But you know, I don't know. I guess it's a tribute thing, but I don't know, man. Uh, Tua got 175 yards already in the first quarter. You know those whole game stats for us the last two years. The first quarterback to hit three touchdowns in the first quarter since A.J. McCarron. I mean, this guy's just a sophomore. It's crazy, these numbers. He played this whole game. He probably threw for 800 yards. Nice pass. One of the best pass I ever seen Jay to make on the money. It's a wide open guy. You better make the pass, but it was a beautiful pass. He ain't had to thread no needle or nothing. Beautiful block by Damon, oh my goodness. But beautiful pass. It's right there. Nice. Running to your right, receiver on your right. You're throwing with your right. Nice pass. Nice swing. Get it to your five stars in the open area. They will produce for you. Nice easy money right there. Watch this move. Bow! Dead leg. Peter Ward style. Killed him. See if you can get your first touchdown of the year. Oh my goodness. Boy, gotta protect my ball, man. I thought my boy Tool was supposed to be the one over here, the turnover machine now. Come on now, let's go. Uh-uh, I don't know what that's all about. No, no. Let's protect that ball. You fumbled a lot of those first year, jumping up in the air. Go look at that first video. Where you finally did stop throwing interception that first year, it was a lot of these fumbles like this. And that's what that was a problem. When they won the interception, it was these fumbles. Hey, take my ball. Don't start turning that ball over. Let's go now. This is Arkansas State, not Arkansas. If we went up 21 by now, that play can affect us against Arkansas State now. Let's take care of this ball. He loves being aggressive. I would have paid to see the outcome of this play. Oh, man. I wonder was he going to hit that man going. Just to put a bow on that, he described it as pretty talented up there as well with a top 10 pick in Jonah Williams. A couple of preseason All-Americans on that line. Nice pitching, nice pitching catch. Simple route. Keep that on warm. Making himself a better passer. Look how far you is on this receiver. You dead. You play for Arkansas State and you giving him that much room? Oh, you dead. Hip his stats out. Hook them good move. Hip the stats out. Good move. That boy be glad. Running effortlessly. Deceptive speed. He'll fool you. Ah, nice move. Let's go. Uh, nice pass. Nice pass. Uh. We ain't got one player to worry about. This guy right here. They gotta respect the guy in the front. Soon as you get soon as you come behind him, clear out. Ain't nobody over there. I don't know if that just was a sorry play or just a perfect ball. But he got there. And I'm calling that a great throw. Good job, Jalen. Good job. Next drive. All runs to get down the field. First pass of the drive. Nice. Nice. Great hands right there, too. Nice pitch and catch. I don't care if you're playing Arkansas State High School or Georgia. When the plays is there, I want them made, and that's the only thing. It's a good pass right there. Why are you getting hit? Great hands by Judy. 
Great hands. Got to hit the plays that's given to us. Good play. Good throw. Tua back in the game. First possession back. Two run plays to get to that didn't get no yards, so we set up a third and ten, and we just try a quick screen. Actually looked it good, but one guy got through and shut down the whole play. Smith and my other receiver go get up here to set these blocks up up top. Smith and Judy finna go set the blocks up. Roy is coming back around. He gonna peep the safety up top. Look at these two. Why y'all running looking at him? Do he fault to come around y'all or do y'all or should y'all be going to hit him? Like I didn't understand that at all. Like they just coming out slowly trotting toward rugs instead of finding somebody block. Maybe he supposed to come back behind them or something. I don't understand it. My two receivers go come up here to set up their little wall. They ready. But look, he go, he, he, his head downfield. He looking for somebody to find. He locked in on somebody. But look at them. They ain't even, look, Leatherwood is still looking at him. Why is Leatherwood running behind the play? And then my boys, not Big Cotton, Big Leatherwood. I'm a, I love my offensive line almost as much as the rest of the team. Like, hey, the, them boys in the trenches where it really go down. Me and, me and Coach Nitty really about them trenches. I do this quarterback breakdown, but our love is in these trenches. Offensive and defensive side. I'm going to hit y'all with the other breakdown. These just be quarterback breakdowns so far. But what am I about, what my guys doing right here? Maybe he fought to get that ball and come back behind them. Leatherwood ain't looked downfield yet. So I don't really know what's going on right there. This guy came free. Nobody picked up that guy. Nobody. He on it. He see it. He see it. He see it. I don't know what really happened right there. I only need one person blocked. He came and made the whole play. His first drive of the second half. First Alabama quarterback in six years since A.J. McCarron with three touchdown throws in the first quarter. It's a different kind of arm, isn't it, Andre, you're out here <laughs> Tonga Bailoa? It's a generational arm. I mean, he is that, that talented of, of a passer. And, and scary if you're a defender and you, you're on the other side trying to defend it. Escapes the rush, and he's a pretty good athlete, too. Got a good block. Tonga Bailoa rumbles for a first down, and Henry Ruggs laid down an excellent block on the outside. You know, people, you, you, you forget that he's as mobile as as he is and athle as athletic as he is, but here it gets flushed out of the pocket. And, I mean, he is he is not afraid to run. He is a willing runner when he pulls it down. It's just infrequent because the arm talent. Boy, this guy do a move on Jonah Williams up top, man. Oh, uh, spin move left him. Way to step up to him and get away from him, though. Still had your eyes downfield. Great play. Way to keep them eyes downfield. Look, he want to go for it, too. But we doing so bad at kicking, man. We got to let these kickers warm up. We finna replace the original kicker. He ain't doing nothing. Try this new guy, but we got to let him get his reps, too. Make sure he's straight. Want to let you go for it, man. We want to score 100 points with you, man. Look, he still want to go for it. He probably feeling like he should have took off running and got the first instead of... Hitting Irv. Either way it go, he wanted to go for that fourth down, man. But we got to get these kickers some reps, man. He looked way better than the original. Hopefully we got some. Roll tide. Got a couple things happening on this play right here. Got your play action. Roll out. Good roll out. Incomplete pass. Let's see what actually goes on on this play, though. A lot of things going on on this play. You got to pay attention now. We want this tight end to come roll with the quarterback. He going to go up, come right behind these linebackers, drag right across that uh, field with, with my quarterback. But number 10 go noticing. His whole head go spotting. Watch his head. What's going on? Watch he look straight at 84. Oh, I got you. He finna blow that play up. He finna look at the sideline for Ruggs, but really coming back to the tight end. Oh, the tight end picked up. Now I'm actually come back to Ruggs, which is a check down. 
rush the ball. Show you why the ball got rushed real quick. This the only threat to blowing up this play right here. Everybody going with the play action. We got him blocked, but watch he hit him with the spin move. Leave him where he's staying. He killed him with the spin move. So now right here, while I'm processing which player I want to hit, I got to rush that throw because Bud on me. It's okay. It's okay. Tua usually hit that 9 out of 10. But it's okay. Live on to fight another play. Here we see one of the only flaws in Tua game, if, if not the only flaw. He's not your prototypical height. So he got to throw over these big boys. So sometimes that ball might get a little high like that trying to throw over them to a player right here that close to the, to the action. But that's his only knock is that height. But don't worry, Smith, we'll make up for that one. Third down conversion been pretty nice this year, Tua. What you got for him on third and five? Is it that same drag route? Oh, it don't even matter. I'm going. I'm taking off my leg. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. <laughs> Woo. Took that boy to his knees. 34 head got all the way down to his knees. Hey, don't hurt him now. I come out that stands on you, boy. I'm up there in them stands somewhere. Don't play. Now, there's one thing about it. The arm's so nice when you do drop back and pass D. Oh, come here. Y'all can't leave it this open for this boy. Legs nice. Boom. Okay, 34 came up off the ground. Because, hey, that, hey, it took everything in you to uh, withstand that force. That boy ain't playing. That boy needed them five. Oh, I'm shaking that off. Oh, you look at that second dude almost got to him. I would have completed that pass, too. Still shook this first guy. The boy strong, man. Look at him. He comfortable. Look at him. Smile for me, too. Uh, yeah, he comfortable back there. We good, ladies and gentlemen. Next play. Nice little play right here. Looking for Jacobs rolling out off the play action. Coming out the backfield. Right there, rolling to your right. Throwing with your left. Getting it to them playmakers in open field. I like that play right there. Because they got to respect that run. And Jacobs coming out that backfield pretty fast at that angle. I like that play right there. Play action to Najee Harris. Ja Jacobs checked by this guy right here. He don't even really bite for the play action too hard. But he coming out the backfield so fast at this angle like Dave Meggett or Sproles. It ain't nothing he can really do. And then he's so much of a playmaker that as soon as he catch the ball, he already got the mind frame to go and get rid of you. So uh, guess what, buddy? You dead. I hope your ankle's taped up nice. Look, you almost lost one right there. Uh, message for you, you dead. Boy, y'all lucky Big 92 from the D-line came and made that play because uh, he was finna split them. You would have been dead. Everybody on that back, uh, defensive backfield would have been on that bench with their ankles taped up wondering what the hell just happened. That boy that is deadly in the open field. Where you came from, I don't know. But you could suit up for the tie playing plays like that. But I'm sure every play ain't like that, so you can never make this squad. Next play. I usually don't put on every pass play, you know, just some of the big, you know, the big hitters, you know, testing accuracy and all that. But I want to take this, this technically a pass, but I want to just check out, uh, check out Josh Jacobs, uh, tight area, tight space. That boy still going, hold, hold up, hold, hold up, we, let me bring that back, man, because I don't really think you're trying to, I don't think you hear what I'm saying. Check out, imagine this guy in the Wildcat. First of all, I got a meeting with Saban tomorrow at 12. I'm going to see if he mind me hollering that lock slip by putting this boy in the Wildcat. Watch these moves. Tight spaces, tight area. But guess what? There's no catch checking this boy. Uh, 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 you did. 34, mesh to you. You did. Weak dive. You did. Y'all about to hurt each other. Up uh, could have been a uh, concussion. Y'all did. They, they about to hurt each other. It's just, it's just too much to stop this guy, man. That's the whole team. Outside of five players. He's still down. Everybody hurting each other. That boy's a problem, man. Starting at any other team. The stable is crazy. I like this. It's obvious they blitzing. But he got patience in that pocket. End up getting a clean pocket. Deliver that ball. First down. Third down conversion is nice, man. Jacobs is gonna catch this football. Clear a nice hit. Once he gets to the top, the ball's out. Nice, nice, nice. We want Waddle right here. 
in the slot. <clears throat> it's a hold all day, but it's all good. This guy's almost uncheckable, so we pretty much off the play action know he going to be open because the safety was on the other side. But look at your guy right here holding him the whole way, arm around him the whole way. Just didn't get it done. Bring that back one more time for you. You got one on one, full speed running at you. We know we finna burn you, but watch what he do. First, I'ma hand check you. Put these hands on you. I grab you. The arm still on you. I almost spent your whole body around. Safe to try to get back in time, but he was late. Didn't even touch him. But it was a hole. But it was real quick and fast. It's all good. That set up third. That set up third, and they watch this. Oh, we saw that big Jonah. Seventy three up top. We saw that. You know, my favorite position, damn near left tackle. We'll get in that into a, uh, on another another film. But I say that to say that it was just third and eight. What's the odds our best lineman jump outside right here? Because it's just to set up tour time. Just like Papa Nossa missing that field goal that we put in the middle of the field. A few yards back farther than the extra point and you blew it. Guess what? Because it was time to set up to a time. The game got a little smooth and got a little slow. We need a little more excitement. So our best lineman jump offside just to set this up. Like when Charles Barkley used to travel on purpose just to let his teammates come in the game. Because they have to stop after they blow the wood so they let the substitution in. Oh, step up in the pocket. Footwork, footwork. Deal for dime. Is this a fifth year senior? Dimes all the time. I ain't even make, mean to make that rhyme. Woo! That boy that put it all on the line. Must be out of his mind. This kid is one of a kind. Stepping up, stepping up, stepping up. Look at the accuracy, though. Look at the accuracy. Ain't nobody in the, in the building no Keith was over there but Tua. I did not know where this ball was going. Look at this. Look at that rope. Woo, Cinderella, toes all in the ground. It's crazy. I never sit on here and say, I can make that pass. I can't make that pass. I'm going to tell you. I'm telling you, man, if left tackles was able to get passes, Jonah had 10 by now. This boy throwing everybody. Pull up your seat and eat. Everybody get yum yum sauce. These are the throws that if you see this kid in practice, these are the ones where you ooh and ah about Tonga's talent. Excuse me, Tonga Valoa's talent. Tua is, I mean, it's amazing. Stepping up into the pocket, under duress, and there. Only his receiver is going to catch that one and catch it inbounds. They may take a look at this one. But look at the window. And he squeezes that in now, there's no doubt. Windows! You heard him? What a throw. Oh, man, we ain't seen these type throws in so long. Oh, man. Like, we ain't been throwing them, but like jet sweeps and screen passes, comeback routes for the last couple years. Like, the art of these type throws. Oh, man, to what we can just hit anywhere. Do you know the difficulty of that throw? With somebody all in your face, like he said, under duress? Come on, man. This is crazy. Derek Keith, you need to take him to dinner tonight. Because if it ain't for two, nobody even know you exist. He just gave you fade last year in the Mercer game. Another 50-point game. Are oh, we putting up numbers now? This baby rolling. And we still uh, ain't put our foot to the pedal yet. You know, we'll run first school. So we still going to keep kicking that run game in. It's going to slow that clock down. If we just went straight Texas, Texas Tech type Arsenal, throwing it every play, we putting up 80. 84 for sure. You know, just because we got a passing quarterback now don't mean Jalen got to come in and just try to mimic Tua like that. So, yeah, you still got to keep him with his top plays. You know, that's one of his top plays, using his legs. Every play ain't got to try to imitate being a passer or imitate being Tua. That's a good play call. That's one of our strengths with Jalen, run it. Second and five. 
You know, I guess we'll take it first down. I mean, you know, if it's Dell, it's Dell. Why not? Got there too quick. They picked up on that play to Ruggs. That ain't Jalen's fault. Uh, they jumped that route to Ruggs over there that the play was actually designed for. He actually just came back and threw it to Najee just to keep from getting a sack. But the original play got jumped. That's not his fault. Next play. We want to work Jerry Judy down here in this slot real quick. We already know that he can't stick with that guy. This defender from Arkansas State, you dead. Playing Judy one-on-one. Good pass. Nice pass. Got nothing against that. Got the. My only thing is, good pass, Jalen. But before this play, once we notice that this is man and not zone, and you playing off him this far, nice move. Hit him one time with that move. Now hit him again with the leg. He already gone. Look how long you looking at him before you re release that ball. See, with Tua, as soon as he came out that break, that ball would have been hitting him in the middle of that number four. That's the difference between being third and two on this next play and first and ten. You could have gave him time to catch that ball and actually turn up, catch it and turn back and go up. Just give him time to do something. It got there, you know, and that's cool. This ain't really Jalen versus Tua. That's no competition. No, sh no slack to Jalen. I mean, that's it ain't too many people in college football. Starting up on the bench, they can do what Tua doing. You know, I don't care if you're hating or what you want to say. It just ain't real. I mean, maybe with his arm, but when you combine his arm and his legs, uh-uh, ain't too many doing this. It's probably something they can throw these balls, of course, but with the combo, oh, no, this crazy. But like I said, the difference on these reads, uh, my boy would have hit that as soon as he came out that break. Look how long you're looking at him. See, really, we playing a bigger team. And that was a real more established cornerback. Could be a pick six. He's taking so long to look at him and get it out. But really, this is a good pass. Like you said, you don't want to throw a pick six. So you do got to let him break to make sure they in, you know, man and not zone. And make sure that that's the only guy you got to count for if you throw that ball. The, my, my person on the, my receiver on the end toward the sideline, of course, probably took that far cornerback out to play. And we was going to come with that little out route down at the bottom. But. That's the difference between third and two and first ten. Still good pass. All around good pass. But like I said, we just in, we just to the mind frame now of what we just glad is completed. You know, if it got there, okay, good, good, good. You know, next play. And that's cool. But it's a lot of water cutters in these balls. And that's cool. You know, like I said, this ain't no comparison show. We already know, like 368, who run it. You know, but good pass, Jalen. We're going back to our freshman, our freshman antics, Jalen. What is this? What are you doing, Jalen? That's another fumble right there. Look, it fell right, it fell on top of number 34 when you just scooped it right back up off his body. Otherwise, you fumbling to Arkansas State, man. We can't be doing that now. Take care of that ball, man. Ain't no almost lost that he did lose it. Freshman year, it was too much of this. Look at that ball. Straight out of there. Fumble. He reaching for it. Luckily, it's sitting on top of 34, and he got it right back. Can't be doing that, man. And you're in the red zone. You know they coming for that ball. Cover that ball, man. Back to your freshman days. Alabama has turned into as brutally efficient a machine as it comes in college football. To a tongue of Iloa. These numbers are ridiculous once again. Four touchdowns on 19 attempts, 13 completions. His career, one touchdown throw on Drew Air every 6.6 passes. If you won a Heisman Trophy, you threw for a touchdown every 12.7 attempts. What's going on here with this? Man, that's crazy. I mean, 6.6. That's who should be taking the backup snap. Especially since we know uh, Jalen finna be gone anyway. Need to be getting this guy ready. Mac Jones. That's who. Sh that should be your backup quarterback. 